So in the previous video, I mentioned the Web Developer Toolbar, which was one of the first tools out there that let you work with HTML and CSS on the web page. But certainly now the most famous by far is Firebug. I know a lot of people who can't survive without their copy of Firebug anymore. And Firebug is another one that's available for Firefox, as well as I believe there's a Chrome version of this. Of course, Chrome comes with its own web developer toolbars that are very similar to Firebug. And in fact, Internet Explorer at this point also has something that's kind of similar to this. But Firebug is an incredibly useful tool, particularly as you're trying to track down issues with styling. And you've got so many style sheets now with Bootstrap and so forth. So we are going to find this to be a very helpful tool in the process of putting together this website. So I'm going to click on this button up here about installing Firebug. And this will go ahead and install Firebug for me. I'm going to download and install the most recent version here. So I'm just going to click on my download button and add to Firefox. And then once my button comes in, I'll say install now. And interestingly, I don't need to reboot my browser here. I've got Firebug. It's available for me already. If I click on this, this is going to show me my web page here right now. So I'm looking at the HTML that makes up this web page here, the Mozilla page. And if I roll my mouse over various parts of the HTML, it'll show me where I am. So I'm here on the body tag right now. If I open that up, I've got a div with an ID of page, a div with an ID of footer. It's probably off the screen. So if I look inside of my div with an ID of page, I have a div with an ID of global header, a div with a class of ammo header. Okay. So if I look inside of that, I have a navigation bar. Look at that. I can identify my navigation bar. And here's my unordered list and the LI that makes up that unordered list. And inside of that, there's another link. So, and then I can click on that. And then over here on the side, I can see all of the CSS that's going to pertain to this particular link right here up inside of my Firebug page. As I scroll on down the list here, I can see all of the styles, which styles have been counteracted by other styles overriding them and so forth. So this feature here inside of Firebug is very, very helpful as well. And Firebug is another one of these tools. It's very deep. There's a lot here that you can take a look at. There's a lot that you can cover. Do download Firebug. Take a look at its features and functionality. You're going to find it really helpful as you work on your Joomla website to have this tool available to you. When you're ready to get rid of Firebug, if you click on this button here in the far right-hand corner, that will make that editing window go away. And you can move on to looking at other pages on your website.